Hi, I'm Ray Besseden. I'm a paper sculpture artist. Usually when people ask me what I do as a paper sculpture artist, they think I do something like origami or maybe papier-mâché. Okay, that's fair enough. The truth about it is, though, that the only thing that's in common with what I do and those two crafts is they use the same material. The outcome and the procedure, the way to the end result is completely different. And you can see from the examples that you'll see uh, coming up that it is a much more sophisticated process and what you get out of it is much more satisfying and inspiring too. Now, when I started as a little kid, I had a lot of fun mucking around with, with sheets of paper and building my own little toys and models out of it. But I developed that into something that I hope will inspire you as much as I was inspired when I first did them. This is how most people see a piece of paper. A piece of photocopy maybe, a tissue to blow your nose with, something you wrap something up in, a book or whatever. Maybe write a note, screw it up, throw it in the bin, you're finished with it. That's the ephemeral life of a piece of paper normally. But in actual fact, this material that I make my artwork out of is far more durable, has a far better archival life than would be expected by anybody. You know, the basic material is something called cellulose and that's the same stuff that made the linen of the old masters paintings and they're still around. Yet, this is the thing that I would like to have you understand about artwork in paper. It's going to be there for a very long time too, kept in the right conditions so that you and many other generations can enjoy what it's made of. What you're about to see are some examples of artworks which I think are very good representations of what I've been trying to say about the unbelievable versatility and capability of paper. Now they range from artworks that are representations of insects that are so real they look like they're going to jump off the background and get you, to artworks that contain parts so delicate you wouldn't want to touch it for fear that you might put your finger through it. And yet there are parts, paradoxically, on it that are so solid looking that it looks like it's made of cement. And you'll wonder how the hell are you going to hang that on the wall? But that's the capability of paper. It's what attracts me to it. And I think you'll find it just as astonishing and intriguing as I do. years as I developed my particular type of paper sculpture. Obviously what I did was as a completely different and unique uh, style of my own through the origin of my own ideas of what must be possible from paper. It so turns out that there are in fact other paper sculpture artists in the world who are all very clever at what they do. But it gave me immense satisfaction and makes me very proud that in competition with these people internationally They've given me something like about 16 different awards and two of them are gold in New York. Anyway, coming up is going to be my very first exhibition. And in that I'm going to combine something that I wanted to do since I left uni, which is to bring my love of insects into my art. And here I'm going to produce artworks, some of which are already prepared, which show the viewer the world of insects right up close in all the detail as if you were the same size as the insect. You'll see it in three dimension but above all what will be most interesting is how you respond to the fact that you probably won't recognize all of this is actually done in paper. And finally, 
For anyone who has any special interest in the sort of work that I do and you would like to commission me to do that, I'm very open to doing that for you. On that matter, there is a page on my website which shows you some works that are available right now that you might find are the perfect gift for somebody or to indulge in yourself. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy your journey through my world of paper sculpture.